Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft with Anon Jr., where we get to have a little fun with Minecraft on the Coffee Craft server and go through all sorts of fun stuff. Um, a little bit of news at the top, and I'll repeat it again at the end. I finally got around to finishing up the Streamlabs donation page. So if you want to help support the server, help keep things going, live.anonjunior.com will allow you to send me a tip or a donation or whichever, whichever phrasing you tend to prefer. It'll also give you shortcuts to my main website at anonjunior.com, my Twitter page at anonjunior, and my Twitch Mixer if you're watching this on YouTube, or my YouTube if you're watching this on uh, Twitch or Mixer. So uh, it's kind of the, the central nexus for all the things that I got going on with live streaming so far. I still haven't set up the Patreon page yet. I, I, that is next on the agenda. What I'm having a little trouble with is goals. What, 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 sort, of, what sort of levels to put down? Uh, if I was doing purely Minecraft, then I could probably set up a Patreon server, but this isn't the only game stream I do. You know, if you look at my schedule, you'll see that I do this on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern, and on Thursdays I do Games Revisited, which is going to be a slow rotation of looks at classic games and that sort of thing. Kind of a look back at some of the fun stuff that have uh, gone by. Hopefully introduce some uh, some of the younger gamers to the classics that those of us who uh, have, have a little snow in the beard remember fondly. We're not going to go quite back to, you know, Pong or that sort of thing. Right now we're going through Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And uh, that is on Thursdays and on Friday I do... World of Tanks in a stream I jokingly call the 47% because we help make the top half possible. But now that's all done. I'll repeat that again at the end. I just wanted to make sure that I, I remember to say that we've got live.anonjunior.com set up now. So if you want to donate, tip, or in any way, shape, or form help out, that is the place to do it. Some merch will be coming soon too. Um, that'll probably happen before the Patreon page. Now, on to the game. Right now it's just me. Arcadius is on. He's AFK. He will be back a little bit later. And hopefully Rayest will be joining us uh, whenever she manages to get off work. And you'll notice that in the title I got Presence, Projects, and Grindy Bits. So if you look over my shoulder there, you'll see... Oh, no, somewhat but hiding behind the trees, a little bit of a present. Uh, oh, <laughs> one of the other things I forgot to mention is we've been playing with some updates to the texture packs here on the server, so we got some custom paintings up. That's going to go through some changes now, now that I get a better idea what's going on, because I really wanted to put this guy, Jabba, the wonderful puppy, uh, in his usual spot under my bed. And I wanted to get this guy up over at the rail station. Except uh, he's only in the bigger size and not in the medium size. So I'm going to go back through and I'll, I'll redo the paintings a couple more times. Um, so look for some updates on that in the texture pack. Yeah, but we do we got some guitar stuff and some Java stuff and some coffee craft stuff. All the good things. Now... What I wanted to get to was this bit over here. This little present is from Arcadius. I passed it by earlier and I just haven't had a chance to do any recording. And I'm not quite in the habit of doing recorded episodes yet. That is also on the agenda. Uh, I, I, I know, I thought I was going to get it done before now. Life and time and a great many other things have conspired against me. So, I saw this be recording before you open. Get rid of this. Bam. This has gotten rid of. And let's see. What do we have here? Maybe I should... Oh, okay. Nothing that's going to blow up. Oh, does that have the funny trap look? Nope. No. Oh! Oh, hot diggity! Look, we have been playing on this server since 1.13 
first released. We, all three of us, Arcadius and myself, quite a bit have been trying to hunt down some freaking tridents. And look at that. Oh, that is awesome. I have some books for you. <laughs> I have some books for you. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Let me go put that in the safe space and then uh and then we'll go back to <laughs> Oh, I got some books up in that enchanting room. I'm gonna have to have a good shuffle. Double check the wiki, make sure that uh I have exactly what I want on there. Alright, so my combat and armor, and you know what? I'll get rid of that. Put that back in storage and BAM! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Finally, a trident. Um, Arcadius has also been trying to work on uh, on putting together um, a trident farm. Well, technically it's a drowned farm and we're hoping to get tons of tridents, but uh, that project has been on a fun little hiatus just because of trying to figure out how to get different things like, you know, an idiot over there to be the bait. I mean, a villager to volunteer for uh, guardian duty. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. So that's the present. Now for a little bit of some project updates. I don't know if you notice or not, but Ray Est has been busy working on the rails. So she's been decorating the edges over here. So we got some trapdoors to hide the levers so it doesn't look quite so bad. We got a little extra lighting and trim going up on the edges there. We got all our pillars in over here. Oh, uh, we also seem to be struggling with the server today. There we go. All right, so we see a little bit more there. And she's gone almost all the way around, I think. Yeah, so there's some more supports. We just haven't quite gotten this last corner here. I know she was saving the uh, the toughest for the last. But we got a few more pillars and lighting. We've gone through a ton of quartz. And sea lanterns. But sea lanterns are cheap, especially compared to the quartz. I am actually going to pull the mountain forward on this one. That's going to be one of the grindy bits I work on today. And she got a pillar in there, and it meshes pretty well. Uh, nope, guess I'm not going to. Okay. So she's got a pillar down there that meshes pretty well with the rest of the lake. It doesn't really cover up too much. It's got a small, small enough footprint that, uh, yeah, that works out pretty well. Although, I am going to swap out that stuff stair for something else. I don't know what yet, but I'll swap out that stair for something else just so it, uh, you don't have that weird gap underneath the, uh, underneath the foot of the pillar. And so, yeah, we got almost all these pillars in. I say we. Reyes got almost all these pillars in. She's, she was working hard on that one over the last couple of days when we've had, uh, downtime to spare. Yeah. And I think she's, instead of putting one on either side like that, she's just got the one in the middle. Part of the pillar's function is to look like it has some structure. Part of the pillar's function is to hide the redstone blocks. So that way you don't see these big, ugly redstone blocks hanging out from underneath the, uh, the rail. So that's where that is. One of the other textures we updated is we... Uh, you, we Included the vanilla tweaks, borderless glass, because uh, looking at this thing with the the regular borders and this squareular glass, uh, I've been hanging out with Reyes too much, squareular. Uh, and the, <laughs> you, you know what I mean, though. The grid on the glass just wasn't looking quite right. And right now, I am the only server member that has Optifine installed, so not everybody's enjoying the uh, benefits of connected textures. And we wanted to give that a shot, see if it was worth doing. We like the way it looks on using glass for trim like this, but it looks kind of funky with the aquarium. So what we might do is we might just put a little frame around the outer edge to give it a hard border and leave the glass otherwise like it is. And uh, perfect timing 
for a change, it is night because I also wanted to go through and take a look real quick at these pillars in the dark. So that is one of the other nice things about the way we got the pillars currently set up. Let's see. And I do this here without getting shot at. So we got the nice lit up lake. Maybe I should have tried landing on here, huh? My one of my usual viewpoints for the lake. So the lake all nice and lit up with some sea pickles under there. We got some sea lanterns buried into the waterfall, which I still got to work on that cave. But I'm gonna finish up that cave once I get the mountain level brought up, uh, even even with uh, where I've got it up there. So it's probably gonna come up. Yeah, up and over, hang out a little bit, and look like that water's been eroding out that whole deal. Um, partly because I also want to hide that mob mob dropper box over there. <laughs> but yeah, the pillars give it a nice little extra light. I'm going to pull this dirt and whatnot forward a little bit so it looks like that whole angle is resting in as a part of the hillside. Uh, hello, friend. All right, time to be somewhere else. And that somewhere else is on to one of the projects we wanted to finish up during the stream. If you remember from last stream when I was talking about uh, <laughs> moderately competent redstone, I was having a little bit of trouble with the unloading system. Uh, I had an idea that I half remembered and I was pretty sure I had the mechanics squared away and uh, I clearly didn't because it wasn't working quite the way I wanted it to. So let's head over there. Oh, by the way, this nether tunnel is now 100% 100 complete, 100 completely decorated. So there we go. Still got to work a little bit on that incline, although you don't see too much so I might not. And yeah, we got a nice little tube kind of feel to it. Some lighting. Everything is mob proof between the rails and the stairs. So we shouldn't have to worry about anything spawning in this part of the tunnel, which is nice. That was one of the goals for this particular project, but it also looks nice. And while you're sitting here on the long rail ride to the other side, um, you, you at least have a decent view. Um, We've been going back and forth on whether or not to put windows over in the sides where it actually overlooks part of the nether. But uh, that might be that might be another project for another day because it would require following the tunnel and knowing those places where uh, where it pokes out overhead. Yeah, we might get to it. Just depends on if who, which of us is feeling froggy and uh, looking to do that kind of a project. Maybe throw in some glass on the floor, too. Yeah, Ray asked, found out watching one of uh, Iskal 85's videos that you could put railing, or rail, on top of glass blocks now in 1.14. And she goes, hey, since we could do that, do you want to put it on the rail network? No. <laughs> Oh man, if you knew how long it, put, it took to put down all the slabs, all the prismarine that went into that project. Oh man, no, we're, we're not, no, not going to happen. No, we did put up a uh, door there, so stuff doesn't wander in from over there. Uh, I would like to carpet this side a little bit because technically these nine squares here are spawnable. I could eat, I could downshift it a little bit into slabs, which is also a possibility, or decorate it some other way. I haven't quite figured that one out. So uh, with that, let's head on through. Let's break on through to the other side. Oh, I was hoping it was going to be daylight by now. All right. Um, let's see. Where's the moon? Not visible. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. There we go. Let's borrow a bed over here at the Guardian Farm. 
Oh, 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 oh. Still not quite the 100% uh, flyer yet. Oh, and this is one of the lingering projects. That is the dirt from a gravestone that, for the life of me, I just cannot seem to get rid of. Uh, I haven't quite figured out what I need to do with that. I really need to send a message over to MC Voodoo Beard because uh, it was his player graves pack that we were using at the time that was formed. And even though we got rid of it and switched over to the Vanilla Tweaks version, we haven't, I haven't quite figured out what to do about that thing. So, that is on the agenda one of these days. It's not quite that big a deal since this hasn't been a major hub of travel. Mostly we're here to AFK by the Guardian Farm for more uh, product to use in Prismarine and that sort of thing. And uh, let us head over this way. Because we were working on this mob dropper, we still got to put a couple extra layers in up at the top. That is not the um, the major portion of this endeavor. What we wanted to do is come down here and look at a couple of options. Ooh, good. This has been producing just in the time we slept. All right, let me just toss some of this. In. Yeah, sure. There we go. There we go. Okay, so over here we've got our original unloader design. The idea was that this hopper minecart full of stuff would come up the powered rail and here it would start unloading and when the first item hit that hopper the comparator would pick it up, send a redstone signal out into that block which would power the piston and stick out the fence post to trap it here. Um, it has been suggested to me that one of the things that I probably should have done is move that piston back one to keep it from rolling back but it looks like when I run this oh, sorry girl girl okay but it looks like when I run this, it wouldn't matter which side I put it on because that's coming back just a little too late to uh, to catch the minecart. I, I don't know if it's some delay and that I got too many, too many moving parts over there or what the deal is with that. But um, just for kicks, I wasn't planning on doing this, but just for kicks, let's try, let's try to move that fence post back one see how well that actually works and I also think that what we probably would do then so we're gonna move it there we're gonna move that there we're gonna put that there and realistically uh, what I'd probably do then is get rid of the torches that I have on either side and just put some redstone dust right here um, yes I brought that with me. So let's uh, let's do that while we're at it. I just need to get rid of this one here. And oh, where yet? Oh. Okay. Can I can I reach it from here? Without, without all the hassle? No. Uh, oh, bother. All right, fine. Let's see if I can do this. That's what I get for trying to do this without any kind of scaffolding or whatnot. Where did that torch go anyway? I know, it's a whole redstone torch and all, but uh, it would be nice. Alright, that'll float up eventually. Let's try... Hopefully we wouldn't need that one anyway. Oh. 
Yeah, there was a lot of this going on while I was working on what I'm going to show you next. But, uh, it's technically all I need that and that. So, it re so an item goes into the hopper, the comparator pulls a signal from that, shoots a redstone out into this repeater, which turns it into a full strength signal, powering that block, powering that redstone dust, powering that piston, which should push that out and trap it until it finishes unloading. Oh. Okay. Well, that does work. Huh. I was really off by... I was just off by a block. Amazing. Okay. So, I, option A is to just, you know, leave this as it is. I might even be able to tighten it up a little bit and pull everything... Uh, I can probably pull everything back one by putting a block where the repeater is and the redstone dust on top of that and leave the piston where it's at and if I understand what's going on right the redstone dust should still power the piston um, even though it's next to it instead of behind it I think I'm like 98% sure I'll come back to that one in just a minute because uh, here were two I found a couple of videos with a couple of different designs that I was going to choose between to build there. Except I really wasn't that far off. Huh. This is a very old mumbo jumbo video that uh, he, he built. A, he was doing a quickie series. It was before he was using the intro that he now had to delete because of copyright issues. Uh, so we're talking back in the day, years. I, I really wasn't even sure if it would still work or not because some of the rail stuff has changed between the version in which he was doing this and now. So the idea is that you do have the rail powered. Send it up this way. And the rail is actually being powered by this redstone here. So the hopper minecart comes up. It gets to this flat part here and starts unloading items into the hopper. The comparator reads that the hopper has an item which powers this block, which turns off this redstone torch, which turns off this dust, which turns off the power to the rail. No powered rail means the cart does not roll back. It stays where it's at. And it stays there until it is finished unloading. And then it goes, and then when it's finished unloading, there's no more items in the hopper. The comparator turns off its signal, which allows the torch to turn back on, which allows this redstone dust to turn back on, which powers the rail. And since it is a powered rail next to a block, the cart then goes back out for another run. So it goes up. It does its thing. Da, da, da. It does take a little while, but that is because of the limits of how fast hoppers will pull items from the container above them. There, there's a definite hard limit on hopper speed, so there we go. That was all the item, like I'm showing you the inventory, that was all the items that was in there. And then it goes back out for another loop. One of the big advantages of this design was a no piston. <laughs> And, but more importantly, it is a little bit more uh, tight. It doesn't take up nearly as much space as that conflagration that I put together there, although I might be able to tighten that up a little bit more. So I'll come back to that and try that in a second. I just wanted to show the other, the other couple designs. This is version one of two versions that Carrick Nanar... I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but you see the uh, video URL there. Feel free to pause and check that out where he shows off this design and the next one. And the idea is pretty similar, except we're keeping this rail powered all the time. So the cart comes up, it hits that activator. Ooh, um, I don't know why I'm looking in there for something to, uh, here we go. Oh, 
Okay. Um, <laughs> that that felt really really weird. Okay. So <laughs> comparators have an interesting function where if it's a non-container block like Prismarine, it'll actually read the container on the other side. So the minecart hopper comes up, it activates, and actually I think that activator is probably powering that block. Either way, either the comparator is reading it or the activator is powering it. That part I'm not entirely sure. But what that does is that powers that block, which turns off the torch behind there. That torch is powering that block, which is powering that repeater, which is powering that piston, which is powering that redstone block, which is keeping that fence gate open. So the cart comes up, it powers the comparator, which turns off the torch, turns off the block, turns off the repeater, which turns off the sticky piston, which pulls the redstone block away from the... <laughs> Yeah, it got kind of weird watching uh, creepers randomly fall while I was trying to build all this stuff too. Which pulls the uh, redstone block away, closing the fence gate behind the cart. So the cart stays here, stuck behind that fence gate. When it finishes unloading, so in other words, there's no longer an item in front of the block in front of the comparator. So when there's an empty container there, it turns off the signal which allows that torch to power back on, which powers that back on, which powers that, which powers that. And around we go to pushing the redstone block into the gate, opening it up, letting everything go on its merry way. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, it sounds a lot more complicated than it is. It's a pretty simple circuit, and um, it has the benefit of not sticking out to the side like these do, because we have our collection system kind of right up against the outer edge in the corner. And that that design right there would actually push all the redstone needed to make this work over where the boxes is. So if we build it kind of like what I got modeled over there, we'll have a, a block hanging out over this box here. And, and that's simple enough to hide. We, we can get all that hidden behind a facade or something. Although we're not going to build a wall around this. Um, sure, we'll toss those in there. So here's the system in action. It goes up. Bam. You see the fence gate close. It does its thing unloading. There we go. There we go. And off it goes is now unloaded on that same video so you'll notice that's the same URL this is a second version that he put forth I'm gonna keep loading it with stuff because this version is supposed to be a faster unload <laughs> it's kinda of distracting this is not for the ADD incline but it is nice to know that our sugarcane is all falling in the area that we want it to and let's see that harvest was 12 13 15 oh some of it got caught in there too okay <laughs> that's still not bad okay so this is basically the same general idea the part that is different is the unloading system what we have is we have another hopper minecart positioned over the middle of two hoppers and encased in glass. So when your hopper minecart that's doing the traveling comes up, it's the same basic redstone as what we just went through over there. The only difference is, is this hopper gets stopped on top of this hopper minecart. Hopper minecarts pull faster than regular hoppers. So this empties that super fast and sends it out on its way. And then it sits here unloading items into these two hoppers, which send them on their way into the system. While that's out, presumably collecting more. Um, so not too much extra work. I mean, I, I built all these in the same day. Not too much extra work. 
and it is faster. My question, though, has been, does it need to be that much faster? I mean, how, how fast does it need to be to unload this stuff before we start getting kind of ridiculous? All right, ready? And there we go. That's about half the time. So, even though that cart is now making its collection circuit again, this is still unloading all the stuff that that hopper minecart unloaded. It's just taking a sweet time doing it. All we've moved is we, we've moved the unloading time to a stationary cart. Uh, so what I haven't decided is if that's enough extra work to justify all this extra work. So those are our basic designs. Now, let me, uh, let me see if I can tighten this up just a little bit more, just because I'm curious now. I take that off of there. I take that from there. I take that from there. We don't need that anymore. All right, I'll get that in a minute. All right, we don't need that. Instead, we put that there. We put that there. Now, when that reads it, it should power the lock, powering the redstone, powering the piston. Uh, or some junk. I've been collecting junk and sending it on its way all this time. All right, let me grab it out of one of the... Uh, <laughs> one of the test systems. All right. So now we send that off on its way. Oh, it does still work. Okay. I guess that's the question. Do do we leave? Do we leave the system that we have working in favor of building something different? Let me uh, unmute myself on Discord, since Arcadius is back. Hello. Hello. Do you want to head out to the uh, mob dropper and take a look at a couple of different designs, or so long as it works, you don't care? <laughs> Redstone. <laughs> Honestly, as long as it's working, I'm, I'm not too plus either way but if you want me to come look at stuff I can all right uh, if you don't care <laughs> I'm either going to go with the one that we fixed since it's already there <laughs> it doesn't require any extra work I'm a fan of not doing extra work Oop. let me grab that so I'll go do the thing that's already there and doesn't require extra work. Or I'll at least convert it over to this old mumbo design. Because that uh, that has fewer moving parts. And I kind of like the idea of having fewer moving parts. And it wouldn't be that much extra to make it all work too. Um, I could even... Let's see, all that sticking out there. Yeah, I could even move everything forward a little bit more and pack that in a little bit tighter. That might be the way to go. Yeah, all right. I'll convert this over to Mumbo's design. The other two were nice exercise, a chance to look at some different redstone engineering and get an idea for other ways to accomplish the same goal. And um, this dude's video is well worth the check anyway. He's got some good stuff in there. And this isn't a block-for-block -block perfect version of what he demonstrated. It is fitting what he demonstrated into our needs because our storage system is up and inclined. So do keep that in mind. This is not a 100% block-for-block recreation this is as close as you can get without being 100%. <laughs> so, 
There that is. I think... Yeah, so what we'll probably do is we'll probably just have one cart rolling around for now and we'll make and we'll see if that ends up being enough or if we need more. I don't think we'll need more, but you never know. All right. So, let's start taking some of this down. sitting right here in the systems I'm not using. <laughs> uh, and I got more in a box. I just haven't gotten around to getting it. All right. So we got our incline. I'm a little concerned about whether the powered rail is going to interfere with that redstone. I may end up having to push this up one more anyway. Easy way to figure that out. We power the rail. And that doesn't look like it's anymore. Power zero. Power zero. Power one, two, yeah. Two, one, zero. Okay. All right. So no worries about that. We need the comparator off to the side of the hopper. going off to the side of the hopper. There is a block at the end of the comparator. I'll come back for that later. All right, and off the block that's on the comparator, I'm putting a redstone torch. On top of that torch, there is a block. Oh, there's also one that's going to be there anyway. We'll go put that there. We'll put that there. And there's a redstone dust there, right? Just double check. Oof. He wasn't worried about getting arrows and uh, bones, but we're getting an awful lot of arrows and bones along with us. I'm not complaining. It means somebody will be pillaging my arrow supply a little less than they were before. <coughs> For someone who's not complaining, it sounds an awful lot like complaining. with the redstone dust needs to be over the comparator and another block on top. Okay. Comparator into the block. Torch. 
a block over the comparator in front of the... I got that too high. <laughs> Oops. Derp -a -derp. Proof that no matter how many times you do some of these things, you still don't always get it quite right. Even with a working model that you just built. Not, <laughs> what, two days ago? <laughs> That's actually not the height that thing needs to be at. That needs to be there. Oh, hi friend. Oh, bother. We have been having this really weird glitch where every now and again, and maybe it's just me, I'll hit the uh, dig and it'll keep digging. Or the main activation and it'll keep activating. I don't know if that's a problem with my trackball or what it is, but I have dug through more than I'd intended to more often than I care to admit. It is troublesome and frustrating. Right. There's going to be a block there anyway, so I don't know why I'm bothering to not put one there while I can easily. There's going to be a block there. That one's the one that's got to go. And that goes there. That goes there. That goes there. there and the powered rail goes back on there so that is now powered beautiful check real quick we got a few things loaded in yep off that goes it unloads and it comes back Okay, so one more time, just in case you didn't get a chance to catch it, and I will try to remember to put these URLs in the description. <laughs> if memory serves me well, that's the old mumbo design that we're using now, because it's a little bit tighter and less moving parts than what I've got, what I had originally. This is version one by Carrick Nanar. And same video, version 2. And some good stuff there. Alright, I need to start tearing some stuff down. And thank you for the sleep. I, I was getting ready to toss a bed down. Dangerous to stay here at night. affect me in my base, so I don't really notice it. <laughs> what, the way it looks? Now it's talking about nighttime. It oh, doesn't yeah, really that's right. affect me. <laughs> yeah, I'm headed there next. It's on the agenda. I wanted to finish up this little project first. Yeah. Be there and beat a rail. Oh, that's slow. Yeah. I don't want to forget to collect that stuff that's floating over there before a dolphin decides to be helpful and play with it. <laughs> <laughs> it 
there at the uh, fish farm, they, uh, those are plentiful, so. Yeah, that is the other side to the uh, borderless glass that we've been playing with. Uh, it's hard to see. <laughs> yeah, like right now, I'm, I'm not enjoying it. <laughs> I mean, it looks pretty when it's in a frame. But, uh, been a few too many times that I've been looking for something or finding it in my inventory. Or more appropriately, not finding it in my inventory. There we go. We also Commenting need a few, on the uh, black glass on black background, it's really hard to find. So oh, whether yeah. or not I put a piece down or not. Yeah, but I was running into that problem before. Even without that. Oh, that place looks awesome with uh, shaders on. I might have to do that in a little bit too. This one here? Yeah, we're, we're gonna go with Mumbo's old design because it still works and it's fairly uh, space efficient. Fewer space efficient and fewer moving parts. Those were really two of the big ones for me. I like the other one because it's less uh, sticking out from the side, but again, we're, we're the only ones who are really going to see and notice it, so... I don't think either one of us are too... too bothered. This has pretty much become the industrial zone. There's nothing pretty here other than <laughs> what I've tried to do and then... I don't know about that. You get you get some pretty artwork. Yeah... But I mean, it's a giant box in the middle of the ocean, and then you've got the mezzo <laughs> that we've basically stripped, and then you've got you know uh, what's <laughs> this floating wind? platform? You're the one who <laughs> you're the one who just cranked up the podcast and just went to a town on a. It was an audio book, but okay, yeah, sure, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll take I'll take the blame on that one. <laughs> well, it is funny just to watch stuff fall on top of you, isn't it? Uh, funny is not the word I'd use when you hear the creeper ignite just seconds before he dies. That that was not funny. That was not fun either. I don't know. I think that'd be actually kind of funny. <laughs> from from someone else's standpoint, not yours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, from somebody else. Okay, maybe, but uh. Do I even have glowstone dust in there? That I never mind. I don't want to know. What'd you take? Nothing. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, interesting. Uh, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Base the final frontier. Gonna need my rail box. That should be enough redstone to manage all the rail. Um, gonna stow this for the moment. Matter of fact, I'm probably gonna end up doing most of this in uh, <laughs> powered rail anyway. Good thing I brought a bunch of it. Now, because I need to do the corners in the regular rail. Ah, my inventory. It looks sad. By the way, is the filtering working like it should? There's our gunpowder. There's our sugar cane. And there's everything else. Sweet. And I wasn't originally planning on building on that edge. 
since I need one of those redstone blocks I just put away. Because <laughs> of course I do. It wouldn't be right if I didn't do it wrong. There we go. Take those up. Ooh. That's going to be an interesting question. That's going to power out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, that should be enough distance that that doesn't interfere with uh, with the loading and unloading. Let's toss those in there real quick and give it a quick test. Okay, good. <laughs> I was worried about this redstone powering the rail far enough up that the machine <laughs> wouldn't turn the power wouldn't turn off the powered rail. Which would be a problem. Okay. Now for the boring bits. This is the way we lay a rail, lay a rail, lay a rail. curves at the end, so I want to make sure that these stay straight like they're supposed to. Got any extra rail? Um, there's a stack of that, and there's a stack of that. And we'll do the corners last. Could technically pull this one out there. It's not likely to collect anything out in this corner, but... That's never stopped me from doing stuff like that before. On the Prismarine or no? Um, we don't need to do it on the Prismarine. I just did it on that Prismarine there because that's where I'm rolling up the final incline. Because all the mobs should stay on the stone. They should all fall within the bounds of the uh, stone. Good. We'll find out soon enough just how wrong I am. <laughs> I mean, we technically don't need the sea lanterns under there, but it le does us nothing to leave them there. Uh, you do, actually. This Whoever put this outer border on, that's a full block. And these are top slabs. Yeah, nothing's going to spawn here anyway. And they had to be top slabs, otherwise we wouldn't be able to put the rail on them. <laughs> hey, it's raining sugarcane! Sweet. <laughs> Are you out of uh, power drill? Uh, we'll be. Now. <laughs> Let's try that again. There we go. If that doesn't do it, we got bigger problems. Because that means I'm out of rail. <laughs> and this project used way more rail than I was expecting. Yeah, we know where we can get more. Yeah. And that's it. And that's it. Alright, let's get the corners on. Oh, oh, oh. hey. Hey. What are the odds he's going to give us another one? By the way, thank you for that. Not for what? The trident. Oh, you're welcome. I just got my fourth. Dude, seriously? How? He just gave me one. Oh, <laughs> And I... I went out doing that uh, random just adventuring hunt. Uh, which should be in my... Uh, what you call it, the uh, Twitch backlog, but um, so I spent two IRL days, um, you know, 
it, probably only two hours a day, but two IRL days running around way, way, way far away from base. We're talking 10,000 blocks or more in any given direction <laughs> away from our primary base. Um, and uh, I guess I hit the lottery because I was going oh. out just to, to treasure hunt and look around and see if I could find a, a pillager base and all that good stuff. And uh, I got three tridents within 10 minutes. Wow. There was there was this underwater, like, I, I um, dare to use the word castle, but there was this huge underwater monument. Not like the, the temples, but something. Is there, is there a reason why you put this down on the prismarine? I was just copying what was on the other side. Yeah, no, we, we, we actually don't need to. I only did that on the other side. Cause, oh, shoot. <laughs> I, I only did that because uh, I, I wanted the ramp up to be off the platform where things were going to be falling. Alright. So with that then... Oh, uh, yeah. I ended up with a nice. uh, ton of... Uh, like I said, three tridents, so... I put uh, mending on all three of them and decided to be cheeky and put yours in a, a giant present <laughs> box outside your base for nice. you. Duh. That was much appreciated. Wasn't going to give uh, Reyes hers until after you got yours because I didn't know if I could get her to just not use it. Even me, I've been oh. running around the server like, man... Using my auto launch feature for my trident would be so nice right now, <laughs> but I don't want to pull it out in front of him. <laughs> I still can't believe I just got a fourth one. That I, I don't well, know. Well, I mean, up. we've uh, we because we've been playing with this since 1.13 released, and yeah, we've been playing a year, and this is and, and the four we have right here in this little tiny quadrant with us are the only four that have dropped the entire season. Yeah. <laughs> That's the part that gets me. All right. Uh, now for the fun part. Ow. It does seem to activate longer at night. What? Er, it seems to be more active at night for drops. I'm really I'm wondering wonder. if there's not some sort of light bug up there. That's always possible. Um, holy mother creepers. Paratrooping. <laughs> Sweet paratrooping creepers. Um, okay. I didn't think I dropped my stake, but apparently I did. Yeah, the top level looks lit. Where the redstone, where the redstone is, it should be lit. No, no, no. The one just below that one, the top, the the top um, spawning level looks like it's actually lit up. Even from here, it looks lit. Um, that could be that lighting glitch that has been plaguing different parts of the Hermitcraft server. I, I thought we were immune from it, but apparently there's a. There's a glitch where, for some reason, some levels stay lit, even though they shouldn't be. Um, maybe that when I go back right through there. and build up a couple more levels and move the redstone up some more, I'll put solid blocks on the level the redstone's at and see if that doesn't help. Okay. But uh, right now, what we need to do is... where? Oh, okay. Uh, let me get out my ender chest. Hey, uh, you picked up my backpack. Oh, here. Thanks. <laughs> no problem. All right. Uh, now for the fun one. Grab, uh, grab some magma blocks. Because everywhere this rail is. Really? Well, I don't think we need it on the final approach over the Prismarine. 
I just figured the fall damage was enough. Except you've got one platform that could potentially spawn witches or skeletons with armor. Now, while nobody survived the drop in the time that I've been here, that's not the same as saying nobody's going to survive the drop. This makes sure that nobody survives the drop. When you absolutely must make sure that nobody survives the drop. I just hope I collected enough. <laughs> if not, I've got some at the underground base. And it's not like the nether portal isn't right over there. True. There's always that option. Just, uh... Oh, jeez. We, we gotta get on the same page with putting this stuff down. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was just doing, you know, giant circles, but... I see that. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you an out on there, too. <laughs> ha! Now... Just think of that ginormous field of magma cubes that Iskal had to put down for his game. <laughs> yep. I mean, we may want to put a, uh, a little wall up to the level of the prismarine, but that would be for as much for decoration as anything else. For the moment of truth. I put a <laughs> hopper minecart in this bad boy and then go sprinkle some stuff over the uh Um Why is there a boat over here? No idea. Where's a boat? In your little uh box. I have no idea. I'm finding boats everywhere. And stuff's falling and dying. I don't think you necessarily have to throw stuff out there. <laughs> yeah, I keep. I forgot about that. Well, I do want to get rid of some things. That and that and that and that and that. And that can go and that can go. Um. Oh. <laughs> That's my own fault. Feeding myself again. Are you seriously just going to toss all this stuff in there? Mm hmm. I'll have to come organize it sooner or later, but not necessarily right this second. <laughs> but that day is not today. Exactly. Alright, it does look like it picked up all that stuff, though. I'm waiting for it to make its return trip. It does... It's on its way back. It does take a little while to get around. But on the other hand, as long as it picks it all up in, fi in less than five minutes, I'd imagine it'd be okay. And what's the chances it's going to lag out or just randomly stop rolling. Well, well, that is that is one of the concerns with any kind of minecart collection system is you do you do run the risk of um, the minecart stopping randomly somewhere in the middle. Fortunately, magma is not the is not a hard thing to dig up. <laughs> Kick the minecart back into gear and then uh, and then go. Ooh. All 
right. We're almost at half a stack of uh, gunpowder over here. Nice. I've been tossing out a lot of the stuff that I've been finding as I go to. Well, it's just nice to see this thing actually producing something. <laughs> I mean, actually producing something like it hasn't been all this time. Not that I've seen. Oh, it has. Trust me. <laughs> I'll take those back. Where'd you put all the hoppers? Or do you still have those? I'm holding them. Here, you okay. want them? Okay. Uh, I use it a lot. On I mean, them. there. All I was going to do with them is put carpets on them and lay them all over the place. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Don't make me hurt you. Well, you saw how I was going to do it originally. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, they're like, nay, nay, good sir, let me, let me help you with this. <laughs> Let's put that in there. Let's, uh... I'll go get it later. Because this can't be a rocket crafting station without, you know, a crafting table. There we go. Seems to be doing quite nicely. Nothing seems to be falling on the redstone. It's far enough in the corner that that's not a problem. Which is good. Alright, so we just gotta figure out where the best place is to sit and have this thing active and have your uh, guardian farm active. I almost wonder if that the island where the uh, portal is wouldn't be the right distance. Oh, uh, okay. That that might be part of the problem, too. Because um, you... Did you get that? No. No, that's just the angle I was looking at it from. No, that is... That is off in all four directions. Um, although... I don't think you have the square oriented in such a way that it actually provides the level of shade it's supposed to. Because you have this square offset. So you should probably be doing a diamond shape. Like you have the actual platforms. That might be where the light's coming down. Yeah. I'll take a look into that. Yeah. Because I did a square centered on the center of the diamond platforms going yeah. up. Yeah. And then extended it another 10 out. From the points of the diamond? Or from... Yeah. Okay. okay. So from the points of the diamond. I centered it on the center. But then did yeah. that. And then from that did an additional 10. And then squared it. Okay. Then... That's why it's so big. But if right. I need to do more layers, it's not going to hurt my feelings. I don't know. We'll, we'll come back to that. We'll circle back around to that in a little bit. Because uh, I, I do want to move the redstone up and get a couple more layers in this thing anyway. We, we actually seem to be getting more sugar cane than we're getting gunpowder. <laughs> well, we just got a collection system in place, so we'll actually see <laughs> if we're getting more or not. <laughs> yeah, well, so let's uh let's make that the test. Let's go grab all the sugar... Uh, well, it's your farm. Go grab all your sugar cane and gunpowder. And, uh... And then at some point, when we get done with the stream today, we'll try to find an AFK spot and let her rip. See what we end up with more of. Like a plan. Uh, where's the light level? Or... Yeah, for some reason this is showing 15 light from the sky? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, the what? Mm hmm Okay. 
so we have one platform not producing. Wonder why? No idea. Well, and again, there there is that weird lighting glitch. Uh, I can't remember if that's fixed in 1.14.4, which I know we need need to move up to. I just wanted to check a little bit and make sure that nobody else is having problems before I updated. I didn't know 14.4 was out yet. It was my understanding that it was. No, I can I'm not saying it isn't. Too. I just yeah. yeah. Didn't think it was out. Yeah, I'll double check. Either way, that is a project done good, sir. It's about time we have at least one project done on this, sir. <laughs> hey, now. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> we, we get a couple of finished projects. This is a little bigger than projects we've done done before. I mean, other than that Guardian farm. That was a big dig. Especially with all my stuff nearly burning up at least once. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah, this tunnel. This tunnel came out okay. I tried to mix the red nether brick and regular nether brick. Um, irregularly. Just like I tried to mix the stone and the andersite stairs irregularly. Because I wanted to give it a uneven worn kind of feel. Instead of a regular pattern. I like the way the andersite and stone came out because it's a subtle difference that adds a little bit of texture, but I'm not sure about the nether brick and the red nether brick. Because they're a little too far apart from each other in shade that it doesn't... Um, that I might need to go back and do as a regular pattern instead of an irregular pattern. The nice part is that I got all the lamps everywhere I need them, so it's not that hard to rip up all these slabs and put them back down in a particular pattern. I just have to figure out what that pattern would be. I was actually thinking about maybe uh, two blocks on either side of the lamp and then regular nether brick in between. But uh, I'll, let that, I'll let that sit for a little bit and see if I get so upset about it I, I really must fix it or... Uh, if it's just fine. I might put some iron <laughs> trap doors over the uh, lamps, though. Nah. That's needless trouble. Honestly, the... Seeing what you've done with the tunnel has given me an idea for the next time we have to build one. Oh? If you do the solid polished stone... Mm -hmm. along all four of the mag the axes that you already got it on two of and then trade out all the stairs for polished diorite mm -hmm. it might make it look like you're flying through hyperspace with the star lines going past you oh ooh that could be good yeah I just thought of that while you're going down the tunnel <laughs> okay anyway all right, let me put some let me put some of this stuff away before I get too frustrated by the accumulated crap in my inventory. <laughs> hey, I take inventory management seriously. Yeah, I just leave it laying on the ground. Yeah, no. <laughs> I didn't want to turn into that player, but it's gotten to the point where it's like I don't need more stone. <laughs> isn't even a precious resource. We can make more. <laughs> grass. Grass is arguably a precious resource because there is a finite number of it. But stone, you you can make more stone. You don't we don't necessarily have to keep that around, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? No, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> you can make a cobblestone generator, you can make more stone. You don't you don't you don't have to pick it all up. Yes, you do. <laughs> why, 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 why would you not pick it all up? Who, whoever whoever said, anymore. I have enough resources? Everyone, until they don't. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. My point, exactly. <laughs> Everybody thinks they have enough until they don't. I have a spot for stone. Yeah, okay, there we go. I got some stone buttons over there. 
out of room in my rail box. I'll find. Oh, I'll toss those in community storage then. That's what I've been doing with anything else that I, I ran out of room for. Like, I got too much of. Ah, community storage. <laughs> it's almost as bad as me. Just <laughs> chuck it all in community storage. Whatever. Yeah, there's that too. Let me sleep and then I'll. Oh, drop this off before I forget. Yeah, let me take a quick nap, and then I'll head over to the community storage, and then it's back on to another project that I wanted to show on the stream. It gets to the grindy bits, the part that I'll be working on a little bit, um, since it is uh, it is another one that should help make for a beautiful big dig, since somebody loves their big digs. Hey, I can't lie. Like big digs. Moving right along. <laughs> <laughs> hey, these uh, big digs yeah. make me rich. If we had an actual yeah, well, economy, man, I, I could buy anything. Well, that, that is that that is the part that gets me. Is as much as I like to complain, um, you you do have more resources. All right, where did she put the rails and the carts? Under precious, probably precious. There's the activator rails. All right. Yep. And there's the mine carts, which we've accumulated a few of already. I gotta remember that the next time I'm working on a project involving carts. And oh, I still got the rail box in my inventory. I don't I don't need that right now. Where there's the ender chest. There it can go. Look at that. A relatively clean-ish inventory. For now. Yep. Alright, so we're off to one of the areas that I believe Arcadius's rail is eventually going to go to. Have we decided on that or no? It'll probably come up to the, the main entrance. Yeah, I, I, I kind of figured it would have been the main entrance. All right. I don't know that I can get I, it I down won't. here necessarily. <laughs> I've said it before, but now I will say it again on stream with viewers. I really like that sword a lot better than the uh, serpent that you had before. Let's not talk about it. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was a weird S. I couldn't get it right. <laughs> I wasn't going to go that far. This, it, bl it fits the surrounding terrain well enough that it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb, but it does stick out enough that you can spot it as you're flying by, and it looks good to boot. Um, that, that, yeah, my only that question is this. Hill, but I mean, seriously, what? Uh, I think the only thing more expensive is if you toss an emerald block in there or something like that. Well, actually, my my thought was either an emerald or a diamond or gold. I, I couldn't yeah. figure out what. The gold wasn't gonna do it, but I'm still yeah. twisting about whether or not I should use either a diamond or a uh, redstone block to mimic some sort of ruby or something. Yeah. I, I don't think the redstone block's going to work just because of the, the shading on the texture. Ah, good point. What about the diamond or the emerald? Um, or do you think the, blue the diamond just does if you want to really show just how ostentatiously rich you are. Um, <laughs> the, em the emerald diamond. <laughs> that's, not the, that's not the goal here, <laughs> but... <laughs> goal's looking right. for something that would actually look like it belonged in the hilt of a sword. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. This is one of the big projects that Arcadius has been working on. So we came out through that tunnel into this big, giant hole in the ground, which, you know, we, I, I, it's mostly him digging, but I have helped. I tried helping. And where we got the bedrock, we're, um, here, let me grab a torch real quick. Yeah, it's dark in here. <laughs> in any camera work you want to do in here, you're going to need to hold a torch or... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so we got all the bedrock and a sheet of black glass just over the bedrock. And he's been putting some black concrete powder under the wall. Because the idea is we want this room to look like it's over the void. 
So we're building a void. And it's been a lot of digging. Yeah, it looks like there's a... Yeah, there's a couple of stones under there that got missed. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Sorry, just counting the glass to make sure that I actually, you know, collect it all. And put it all back. <laughs> oh, you... I forgot which pickaxe I had in my hand. And I oh. blew, like, an entire <laughs> line of glass. <laughs> Oh, I've done that too. Oh, and this Joker, about 80% of everything that he's dug out and built has ended up in slime chunks. Can I find a slime chunk? No, not to save my life. But this guy finds them all over the place. Anyway, so <laughs> you, you come through that gate over there and we've got our wonderful walls of Legend of Zelda iconography. If you've played, if you're if you're like me and you played the original one, back in my day, Zelda was a 2D sprite. Uh, <laughs> and you got your Triforce, you got Navi, you know, hey, hey listen, listen. listen. <laughs> and our little potion bottle over there. And I like what you're doing with the lighting on the far wall. That That is nice. It's, uh... Iron fence and then two end rods. Two end rods. Yeah. Yeah. Still, that looks good. Um, for those of you wondering why it looks a little funny, we do have a server texture pack that removes the end cap on the end rods. Uh, that was something that the three of us decided upon when we were looking at updating the texture pack when 1.14 came out. And I do like the way that looks. Okay. That's two votes for the end rods. I guess that's the route I'll take then. <laughs> but you weren't worried about sure. you, were, you weren't sure about keeping them? No, no. I Dude. was thinking about just leaving the walls completely dark, but even no. even at the light level they're at now, you can yeah. barely see the pixel art. Yeah, like that, that was going to be the main bottle. concern was yeah. the, making sure that you can see the pixel art. And it's worth seeing the purple wall. Even if you don't see it in great detail, it's worth seeing the purple wall. Well, the, the thing right now, even on your stream that I'm watching, you cannot see the three different colors I had to use to make the, the cork in the top of the bottle. In fact, on your stream, um, you can't even see the cork. You can't see it directly. But it is there. It's a little subtle, but it is there. So I, I wouldn't change it. I would leave it just as it is. Okay. Because I, I was struggling to figure out how to get light to reach yeah. up that high. <laughs> yeah. But, well. yeah. But I did get the first set of stairs into the roof today. Ooh. Nice. That's the first four layers, and that took almost all my purple I had. So I'm going to have to go destroy another city. Arcadius, destroyer of in-cities. Yeah. All your bricker belong to me. Yeah. <laughs> you can keep your uh, shulkers. I just want your uh, your brick. Yeah. yeah. You know, no, no, no. no. I'll take, take the shulkers. Take the shulkers. Because <laughs> you, you and I both know Ray Hest is going to be asking for, uh, for shulkers. She better not. She just took my entire supply of shulkers. I have no shulkers left. <laughs> I take it my side's the one on the right. The one that's got more total. Yeah. yeah okay. The right. Sweet. Um, You're not here uh, buying food all the time, so. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I've been, uh, I, I gave Arcadius a box full of pumpkins and a box full of melons. Um, well, these are the non-alcoholic melons. Uh, did did you not notice that? Well, I did. Okay. I did. I, I was wondering if you were trying to tell me something. <laughs> and, and the idea was that uh, I would give him the stuff to trade with this guy for emeralds as long as I got half the emeralds. So <laughs> this is a. And speaking of which, one of those boxes is almost empty. So Bob is one of the villagers that Arcadius converted from a zombie villager. <laughs> 
and prior to knowing that they don't keep their allegiance to you at least not yet well, I mean uh, sort of <laughs> yeah they get a little you know what have you done for me lately but that that's people right yeah but the, the new villagers won't do that they're they're less millennial yeah <laughs> we're getting there <laughs> one step at a time all right where's my Precious box. Oh, weird glitch. Um, yeah. I was doing the scaffolding uh, earlier today for the first like four layers of the stairs up there, mm -hmm. and every time I would have to do a pillar of scaffolding, I would put a torch at the top of it, and I just went all the way around as far as I could, which was a most the entire circumference of the room. Um, but, uh, diameter of the room. Anyway, almost all the way around yeah. uh, with the amount of scaffolding I have. But uh, I also put a torch at the top of each one of the junction points. The issue is, is when I broke the scaffolding, I got back. Mind you, it took close to a full stack of torches. It didn't take a whole stack, but close to it. Mm -hmm. I got back less than 10. Oh. I got back all my scaffolding, but like I said, less than 10 of the torches. So you put down a stack of torches and got back less than 10? Yeah. I think it's it's got to have something to do with interacting with the scaffolding. Because uh, I would... Here, I'll give we, you a demonstration. We need to record a video clip of that and send that into Mojang. Oh. There you go. So like this, I would get to the top of here and then go across. And every time I had to make a pillar, I would drop a torch on the top of it like that. Every time I had a pillar. So going across and then at the end of the day, you go through, you click, you knock them all down and look, no torch. Because I saw a torch break off. Did you not collect the torch back? No. Nope. That's oh. the scaffolding. Yeah, no, I saw. I totally saw a torch pop off, and it looked like it went into your inventory. Mm -mm. I'm looking at my inventory. All right. Um, it's a weird little bug. Yeah, record record a clip of that from your perspective, or I will, and we'll send that into Mojang. And no, that just happened to happen that time. No, it doesn't always do it, but. Like I said, I got a few well, torches. Yeah, back. yeah, yeah. I, I mean, obviously, it's not a consistently consistent problem, but it's uh, consistent enough. Yep. Yeah. Anywho, wow. Just, just FYI for okay, me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But uh, yeah, this has been this has been the grindy project that that we've been working on. I have what, actually. Oh, what, what's with the uh, what's with the box? Oh, it's for helping me do oh. this project. That's been nice. there for like a week. Shows how much you helped me around here. I'm taking my box hey, back. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Th this past week, I've been working on finishing up that nether nether tunnel and uh, and taking care of the uh, mob dropper, which is finished. Nice. <laughs> and the black concrete around the border is finished also. Yeah. But uh, not this past week, but the week before I needed some mindless project to work on because uh, I was too tired to think about the mob dropper, but I needed something to do because I was a little too wired to not do anything. So this is, this is what I worked on was going back and forth. Digging all the stone out, laying down a layer of glass. <laughs> Originally, we were going to actually put multiple layers of glass to try to get the fade, the fog effect, but it's not it's not deep enough to get the effect, and all all it is is a waste of perfectly good glass. Um, and if I don't have a light source close enough, you can't even tell. You, you really can't tell. But just for kicks, let me go into video settings, shaders. I'm going to do the enhanced default shaders, which is just a subtle, subtle set of changes. 
And I've actually considered playing with the enhanced default shaders, except it introduces just enough lag. And I kind of like that nice sheen effect that it puts on top of the glass. And it still looks, it looks beautiful. I like what it does to the lighting too. It, it makes those end rods look almost neon. That is awesome. Yeah, I'm watching it from yeah. your perspective. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh there's, a, there's a hole in the floor. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, the border's done. <laughs> well, it's oh. been gutted. I mean, the black concrete's in place. I, yeah, I, yeah, I thought when you said done, it meant the glass was down too. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, man. I, I have to do that when I'm drinking oh. coffee, because, yeah, All right. that stuff gets uh, yeah. <laughs> a mite bit confusing. Before I, before I come back down here and help finish with that, while I got the shaders up, I want to fly over by the uh, pillar work that Reyes did. So we can see that lit up and shadered. That's a word. I just made it a word. <laughs> So you don't die going out the front door. Yeah. Oh, hey, hi. Holy crap! There's a swarm of them. Yeah. You should probably just oh, go ahead and take oh, off. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, go away. I've got nothing to say to you, Bob. Inspect something else. Okay. Ooh. Hi, guys. Can I get my sniper? Oh, that wasn't 50 blocks away? Come on. Who are you kidding? And I do like what the shader pack does to the water, too. Gives it a nice little wave. <laughs> uh, there's Arcadius's Seaside Resort. With some light shaders available. Planes look pretty good, too. Not too much different. Not with the, uh, not with the enhanced default pack, at least. Yeah. Laggy. <laughs> uh, the aquarium looks nice. Gonna kill some frame rates, though. And these little guys, we haven't figured out why they tend to cluster up into little corners and spots. They don't, you know, for an aquarium, they sure don't do much swimming back and forth. They just kind of park themselves in a home, usually over here by the edge or over by another edge. I'm wondering if it's because they're trying to find a, uh, like they're trying to go towards an ocean biome. But that doesn't explain why these guys are hanging out over here either. But anyway, let's um, go take a little trip on the rail. A quick lap with some shaders on. That does look nice. Alright, so we'll start off this way. I'd love to go up to Rayest's, but she doesn't have an on-off station yet. <laughs> We're getting there. She's got to finish building the tower that we're going to put it on. Oop. I almost thought about uh, swapping out the slabs here for glass so you could look down and see the lake. And I did work pretty hard on that lake. <laughs> <laughs> you but, did. But. Onward and forward. Because when we come down the side, we should be able to get a better look at the uh, supports. 
going to have to do something to get a little more decoration on this side of the castle too. Still got to work on grinding out the rest of that hillside. It's almost there. Oh, look at that. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah, that came out nice. Still gonna work with those yahoos. I've got an iron farm design that, or uh, Doc M showed an iron farm design that I think I can actually fit above the existing iron golem catch point. So we might be able to continue using that iron golem collection system. And all right, that's the. Uh, that's beautiful but laggy, so let me uh, go ahead and shaders off. Because <laughs> that, that's, that's a little too something for me. Done. I'm sure there's ways I could tweak it and get it a little bit better, but yeah, not quite there yet. But yeah, even still, even without the shaders, those pillars do... It does look nice. But we still got a couple of couple of big projects in the works. The ray... Oh, okay, I saw that shrub and I swear I thought it was a creeper hanging out. Um, the rail is almost finished. There's a few more pillars that Rayast is going to put in. Uh, we definitely, now that I got this side of the hill put together at least, we can start putting in some lighting between the hill and the community center so we don't have as many mobs. Yeah. You know, shambling out from the forest over here <laughs> towards either the community center or my base. Um, still have the problem with the occasional raid, but uh, I'm not too, too fussed about it. We have the occasional patrol actually spawn relatively near this side here. And I've I accidentally killed the dude with the uh, flag over here, which really sucked because just over there behind that little bit of dirt is my carrot potato farm with a couple of villagers that technically counts as a village and that technically meant that I started a raid because I got bad omen inside the village that was no fun Man, I am extra oblivious today. I didn't even notice the uh, banners you had up there. Is that a killer bunny? Actually, break it and read it. Oh no. Beware the dire bunny. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. We got the red dragon. We got a couple of sabers. I didn't know where else to put them, but since you commissioned the one, I figured I'd just drop them all yeah, off and let you yeah. pick the one you wanted. Yeah, because I've been trying to figure out if I wanted the uh, Saber of a Sentinel or a Guardian. Because uh, right now, the character that I'm playing on Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern, it's Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, is a Sentinel. A rather aggressive sentinel, you know, the best defense is a good offense kind of sentinel. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> but a sentinel nonetheless. Um, would it be a sentinel with a guardian's mindset? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to get some shrubs and other stuff in here to make this look a little more populous. I'm going to level this out a little bit more. Probably when I've finished laying down all the dirt, I'll redo the terrain a little bit. And I want to get more of these fire pits going around the edge. This was the design I was using earlier. 
because I didn't like that you could see the center block that was on fire. And um, now that we've got the campfires, that seems to be a viable option too. Instead of the uh, magma blocks, I might put a couple of hay bales under them just so you get a little more variation in smoke height. Uh, these do take up a lot less space than these guys and look a little bit neater. And I do like the smoke that comes out. Makes it a little easier to find your way home. Um, and I want to replace this stripped spruce pole pole of your base be here with a lava fountain of some sort. So I'll probably level out this area a little bit more. You get a nice big tall lava fountain going right there. Uh, at least as tall as that pole, maybe a little bit taller. I set that up way back early on when we started when we started up the server because, well, there was no castle at the top. And I'd wander off looking for stuff and forget which mountain was mine and <laughs> lose track of my own base because it, it, it was that thing. It was a little shack built onto the side of a mountain. Um, so that served as my home is here marker. <laughs> now I, I've got a... Uh, I've got a different home is here marker. <laughs> Once I get the terrain and all that handled around the edges, I'm going to go back and finish adding a little more depth and character to the walls. Uh, kind of stalled out on ideas for that one anyway, so that, that's been one of those things on the slow burner on the back of my mind is figuring out how to get a little more depth and character on the walls. I'm definitely going to add some... Um, the turret. If I say turret, you'll probably know what I mean. Some turrets off the side of the corners there. And, um... I'm getting inside since it's night out anyway. No, oh, wrong button. There we go. Come on. There we go. Alright. I have... <laughs> I have gone to bed went back out to go work on something and found a pillager patrol right outside my gate. The barbarians were at the gate. <laughs> and I want to start staffing the uh, the walls with these guys here. I've got some guardian heads and I'll throw some cheap swords in their hands. Take all that leather armor that I've accumulated from uh, the zombie farm down there. And if I have to grind out a little bit more, get our cleric in the trading trading hall back online anyway, and uh, yeah, start putting some guardians on the wall, some people like walking patrol or something. I just have a little fun with the armor stand book that we added, because we added that a little while uh, right when we updated to one point fourteen, and I haven't really had a chance to play with it too much yet. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this carpet idea. That was a bad idea. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some arches under this end of the wall and set up little villager trading booths all around the perimeter. Uh, so I can start getting a little mini trading hall of my own going here. In no small part because... Over, oh, there we go. I still got all those guys that bread from that glitch in 1.14.1, in I think it was. Uh, one of the earlier versions where they would keep breeding even though there weren't enough beds for them to, to breed with. So I've still got the mass of people and I'm just going to start shuttling them up to the courtyard and put them in some trading booths. And I'm pretty sure I've got more people than I will have space for booths. And I'll, I don't know. I'll figure out what to do with the other guys at some point. Um, also set up a little nether wart farm too. That, that That's just temporary. Ignore the ugly uh, trapdoors and water. That'll get fixed in a little bit. I've been debating on adding another layer to this or not. I'll probably add another layer to this. Because why not? And I'm trying to think if there's anything that I missed on the updates and happenings around the server. Um, 
We are planning on putting together a wood farm over in the community area. We are planning on putting together a massive super smelter of doom, which tells you whose video we're using, over in the community center. I'm going to go back to working on the paintings and try to get, uh, so I'll try to get that in a couple of different sizes and maybe one or two others that we have of Jabba in a couple of different sizes. Get our Coffee Craft logo, at least one in all the sizes. Um, it's interesting trying to scale these down to the appropriate size. It's hard to do that without it ending up looking a little too pixelated, but I'm okay with that. I mean, this is this is Minecraft. Blocky is part of the aesthetic. <laughs> um, yeah, honestly, that face looks sad no matter how pixelated. And cute, no matter how pixelated. <laughs> Alright, so, um, it is about quarter till, uh, yeah, those guys. That's why I want to get the lighting done. Now that I know how far out my mountain is going to reach, it's time to start undertaking lighting this area up so we don't have these yahoos showing up where they're not wanted. And then I'll wrap the lighting around as soon as we get the other part done. Ooh. That's it. Keep walking that way. You go your way, I'll go mine. Then once I get this side built out, I'll know where I can start dropping lanterns and work it out from this side out to the ocean. <laughs> and really build it up that way. It will probably stop the pillager spawn point that's going on back in that direction, but I'm, I'm okay with that. I've collected enough banners from them for now. And really, there, there's another spawn point over by that Arcadia, that dig that we were just at with Arcadius. So if I really need more flags, it's not that far to go find some more. And there's another spawn, another group that tends to spawn over by the lake. Is that a creeper on my house? There's a creeper on my cottage. I, you don't want a creeper on your cottage? No. Oh. Without crashing. Without crashing. <laughs> oh. Gunpowder. Okay. Anyway, there, there's another pillager patrol that tends to spawn over by that edge of the lake. And if I extend out the lighting that way, it'll probably get rid of that patrol too. And I'm okay with that. I think I've accumulated a few flags. Just a couple. <laughs> and all along the backside. A few of these guys too. Horrible accidents. Shame. Tragic. <laughs> it was murder. Cold-blooded. No. Alright, so. In front of the cute puppy. <laughs> Here is where I will bid you all a good night. Just a reminder, we stream Coffee Craft. Th uh, Thursdays. It's not Thursday. It's only Tuesday. Tuesday is at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. And Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern, I stream Games Revisited. We're going through Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic. We're about nine episodes in, soon to be starting ten. The, and the archives are over on the YouTube channel, so if you're watching this on Twitch or Mixer, there is a link down in the description to get to the YouTube channel. And over to the main website where you have links to everything I'm doing, including some stuff that I write from time to time. Uh, not the stuff that I plan on writing, but all the stuff that I've actually followed through on the writing project. <laughs> and live.anonjunior.com has a link to the Streamlabs page where you can be... Oh, 
That's the wrong button. That's the right button. I'll get it down soon enough where you can donate and end up on this list that is depressingly empty above me. So you can tip donate and help support the server, help us keep this going. And uh, that's at live.anonjr.com. With all that said and done, good night, have fun, hope to see you next time.